Hi, this is Anne. Uh, this video is what I hope is the first of a series of four short videos on the My Data exercise from this week's um, coding assignments. If anything in the video that I do contradicts the instructions in the slides that I've given you, please follow the instructions in the slides. The point of this is to um, demonstrate what I'm talking about and to give you background information you need for understanding how to proceed yourself. Um, this is not a substitute for the instructions in the slides. So the exercise is called My Data. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is create a source code file called mydata.1.js. Okay. And um, to proceed, I need a list of between 5 and 12 items, uh, something I'm modestly interested in, and that um, items where I know at least two attributes for each of the items in the list. So, because um, I like this stuff, and uh, who doesn't keep one of these lists around on their computer, um, what I have is a quote enclosed, comma delimited list of the wives of Henry VIII, because everybody keeps one of those around. And um, I'm going to put that in an array. So um, this is one of the ways I like to write my arrays. It takes a little bit of space, but it's easy to see what the entries are. So um, I'm going to call that my data dot one. And arrays start with a with a square bracket, and they end with a close square bracket and a semicolon. And it's very important that the entries, that the string entries here, they are enclosed in quotes. And there are commas after each one except the last one. Some languages will let you put a comma after the last one, some won't. Might as well get in the habit of doing what most languages will agree is the correct thing. So this is a list of the six wives of Henry VIII. Um, the index of this entry is zero. Remember that the index of the first entry in an array is always zero. And the index of this one is always is five because we are counting from zero to five instead of one to six. So um, I'm going to generate some output. And this is the one array version of this exercise um, or output. And what I want to do is I want to iterate through the six items in this list and generate a reasonable um, piece of output for each one. So I create a for loop. For loops start by declaring the index, which by convention we always name i. Set it to zero. Um, I'm going to do this one way and then I'll change it. We know there are six items in here that they're indexed zero to five. So um, i runs from zero to less than six. And um, we increment i each time through the list. And this for loop is going to have a body. So um, what happens here is we run from 0 to less than 6. And, um, and that gives us um, 6 items, because the indices run from 0 to 5. So um, I'm going to go ahead and type this in. I want to console log each item as I go through. Um, I'd like to show you the index just to reinforce that they run from um, 0 to 5. So I'm going to concatenate that label with i. And then I'm going to put um, the wife's name at the end. So something like this. And how do we get the entry out of the array? We go my data one in square brackets is i. Okay, and that should just about do it. There's a semicolon. And I don't have any little information i's over here. I don't have any red x's. So I think if I hit run, my file will get saved. And I'm going to pull this up here so that we can all see it split it into two columns. So I have my code on my left and my output on my right. And um, this is how you do, you iterate through a single array and 
use the indexes and print it out. Now there's one thing that's, that works here, but isn't really optimal. What we want to do, because we'd like to have the same code work for any kind of data in my data one, um, is instead of hard coding the six in here, um, which particularly doesn't work if your array is long, you have to count it first. What we want to do here is my data one dot length. That's a property of my data is how many entries are in it. Um, some languages don't give you the ability to do that, but JavaScript's great that way. Um, the arrays tell you things about themselves. So we're going to ask it to just run through um, every entry in my data. And if I hit run again, my output over here refreshes and I should see exactly the same thing. Okay, that's it for the first installment. See you soon.